Welcome to day 20, or should I say night 20, of the, the long trail adventure, the flip-flop southbound. Look who I got with me today. Tops with me. So uh, hike with me to the from here to the Duxbury Road over the next four or five days. Brought food for five. There's a white blaze to prove we're actually on trail. Not just walking on some random road. And we brought food enough to take five days. Hoping to make it in four. No silly 25 mile days up in this area. Nope. Still walking. Don't need to amputate the foot yet. We'll bring you the views. We'll definitely be using headlamps to get into camp tonight. Well, we had hoped to get to Johnson a little earlier. Well, way leads on to way, and then you get a flat tire. So that's another reason why we got here so late. So in the gentle road walk that we remember, because we went northbound, was downhill into Johnson. It is uphill out of Johnson, so we might just have to find a cell site. We'll see, we'll try and figure that out when we when it starts getting dark, if we're gonna push all the way to the shelter or just set up the tent somewhere. Signs of industry gone by along the river here. Still on the road walk. It has tamed down a little bit. It's fairly steep, but we've gone a mile and a half and just about a half an hour, just over half an hour. So we might make it before total darkness. We'll see. Pretty certain that it's Whiteface that we'll be hiking over tomorrow. On our way to Bear Hollow Shelter, and we know we've got white face coming up tomorrow. It's definitely one of the bumps ahead of us. <laughs> but this flat stretch is kind of nice and a little opening to get some last of the evening rays. This was a logging road that we were just coming up. It is definitely easier heading down to Johnson than it is coming up away from Johnson heading south. But been quite the workout this evening already but we are more than three quarters of the way to the shelter so that's going to be what we're pushing towards as we head forward catch you later this is our end of day recap for july 22nd day 20 on trail our choices when we got to camp at nine o'clock last night were setting up a tent somewhere in this Rudy area over here, or asking someone if they would double up on a bunk so we had space because there was four people in the shelter and Hot Hands was nice enough to move over onto another bunk so Tupt and I had a place to stay. And we are very, very grateful that she was willing to do that and make space because there was thunderstorms last night and we would have had a dry I mean a wet wet tent to pack away and maybe wet gear inside because it wasn't really a great spot to set up the tent so it was a very very big gratitude there and grumbles our flat tire we had a flat tire on our way so we were already going to be running late, but made it even later with the flat tire. So, but we are grateful to Tup's parents and 
to our friend Hawkeye for letting us park our vehicle there. And this is being recorded on the 23rd, so we got to get on trail. <laughs>